America's finest city. What a gorgeous afternoon for baseball we have in store from Petco Park. Today, a matchup of a pair of first place teams between the Cincinnati Reds and the San Diego Padres. Live baseball here on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Joe Musgrove, the California-born right-hander, is on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, I'm really excited to watch this guy in this one. He strung together a solid season up to this point. ERA in the low twos, and that's not an easy thing to do in this day and age of high-scoring games and home runs and teams Filled with guys that can hit throughout the lineup. The this is a Cincinnati. really good pitcher. The second base now into the box, Eric, Eric Mejia. Mejia. As we show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. And afternoon baseball on MLB Network is underway. Guys, these Padres, as they take the field this afternoon, they come into this one looking to make amends for a loss last time out that put an end to a seven-game winning streak. Yeah, Matty, taking a look at the standings right here, this team has a nice lead, comfortable. You always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games, got the advantage. You don't... One series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings, and this team, this team's sitting pretty right now. When it left his bat, I thought it might squirt foul, but it hugged the line and found its way into the corner. Thought it might be a little bit closer play at second, but he cruised in there with relative ease. And that'll bring up the former top prospect, Harrison Bader. Grounded up the first baseline. Set with the 0 and 1. Oh, and this one's driven the other way and deep to the corner. But that'll be off the right field wall. Mejia rounds third and is digging for the plate. And he's safe at the plate as they take the lead. Every manager and every pitcher in the league loves to play with an early lead, and they've got one here. Back to back doubles put them up by a run with the opportunity to stretch the lead here with another dangerous hitter set to step up. Here's Corey Seager as he'll take a look at ball one. Lifetime numbers against Joe Musgrove. He's 0 for 4. Bader leads off second with nobody out. And he fires in a strike this time to make it one ball and one strike. Time to take a look at the umpires in this one. Behind the plate is Mike Fillmore. Hey, d -roll, Mike Fillmore, one of the most consistent umpires throughout the league. Both pitchers and position players love this guy. Yeah, I think one of the best in the business. How I judge a good teammate is every day he opens that door, is he consistent? Can I count on him? Mike Fillmore is the exact same way behind the dish. Hard ground ball to third. And that's out number one. That is good. The third baseman, number seven, Eugenio. And stepping in, Eugenio Suarez. And he's looking to snap out of what's been a rather dry spell at the plate. First pitch coming, here it is. You know, a lot of guys don't like to swing at the first pitch. That might be the case with this one right here. Took a wheelhouse fastball, 0 oh, 0, oh, center cut. Didn't even give the impression he was swinging. And he just manages to get his hand in. 
pulls this one in the air out to left. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. Next here is Matt Olson and now the Reds look to push more across the plate in the opening frame. First pitch on the way. Fly ball right down the line and left. Left fielder is on the move and he makes the catch in the corner. Reds get a run in the inning on this RBI double. On to the bottom of the first, and the Reds are staked to an early 1-0 lead. Luis Castillo will do the pitching in game three of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Now to the plate, Tomas Mora. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Here's the pitch. Took a little off, and it's in for a called strike one. And guys, these Reds, as they enter play here this afternoon, they've had it going the last 10 games. They're 7 and 3 over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this team has been playing really well right now. And, and, and this is case in point. Chance to jump out again to another 1 0 lead. They've really been doing that. They've been on the tack, early offensive, almost ambush like approaches to their at bats, and it's working for them. Ball taken there, 2 and 1 now. He's fallen behind now, three and one. So that's two pitches in a row above the belt. As a hitter, that's what you're looking for, especially when it's a day game and the ball is carried. That just wasn't a good enough pitch to hit. A good pass at that ball, just a little late, and now the count's full. High and deep down the left field line. And it's a foul ball. The 3 2 one more time. And he looks at one that misses, and that's an excellent job of making his man throw a lot of pitches as he toughs out a walk. Well, there's only a one run cushion to play with, so he's got to be upset after he walked the leadoff man here. Go ahead run comes to the plate, and there are no outs. This could be a very interesting inning. Up next is Fernando Tatis Jr. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right-handed pitching this season. Here's the first pitch to him. Nope, that's the ball. A runner at first with no outs here. And a strike to even the count. One and one. Wow, I'm shocked the hitter took it right there. That's a well executed pitch down in the zone to try and get that double play. The one one makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Here comes the one two. He swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Made pretty quick work of him right there, setting him down on only four pitches. And what I liked about all of those pitches was they were down around the knees or lower. Pretty hard to do any kind of damage when pitches are located in that spot. Juan Soto to the plate now. Pitch misses low. The throw down. Not in time. He's in there at second. Looks like they're trying to be aggressive on the base pass in order to get that run back to give up at the top of the first. I like that, especially early in the game. So we'll see if they can drive him in now. Runner at second here with one man out. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for Revol. That's a pretty tough spot for him to deal with in the first inning. Runner in scoring position already, and now he's got the three hitter salivating in a good hitter's count. Oh. 
2 and 0. Oh, here it is. Now a swing and a fly ball. Bader is back near the stands as he hauls it in for the second out. Batting four. The right field. Stepping up is Harper. Bryce Harper. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. First pitch of the A.B. now. Mora stands at second with two gone. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. Now you can see he's working around this guy right here. Why not? First base is open. Walk wouldn't be the worst thing in this spot. Much too quick on the trigger there. It's two and one. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Strike swinging, timing a little off on that one. Let's get it going, boys. Somebody's loose, hitting 98 with ease in the first inning. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. One left for San Diego. They trail this one one to nothing. Here's George Springer. He'll get us started in the top of the second. The center fielder, number four, George Springer. First pitch on its way. Too tight with that one. Three and zero. Oh. Yeah, three straight balls to start the inning, and it's clear to me he just hasn't found his rhythm out there yet. And that misses for ball four, so it's a leadoff walk here to start the second. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Next to dig in, Patrick Dwyer. He's been feeling pretty good about things recently as you see the numbers over his past 10 contests. First pitch on the way. And a high strike there, 0 and 1. Fastball just misses. That's ball one. Nobody out. Runner on first. And it's one and two. Hey, that was a nasty pitch right there. Ton of rotation on that ball. You could almost see the red dot from up here. Nasty depth. Here's a fly ball. Well hit. Back goes Harper at the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Batting it. The catcher, Davey Grillon. And now in the box, Davey Grillon. He 
become set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And it's fouled away. Runner at first here, one man out. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Hey, struggling to find the release point of that curveball. That wasn't a very good one. Somehow he's just got to find that field because that's a pitch he's going to need going forward. The 1-1 one -one is taken for strike two. Fooled pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the one two. Yeah, and if you get a guy flailing at a pitch like that, heck, you're gonna go out there and throw that same pitch until he proves he can lay off of it. Working for the punch out and the offering. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3-2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's gonna get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. And that's low ball four. We knew coming into this game that this guy has a tendency to give up a lot of free passes, and history repeats itself as he's already given up two walks here. I'll tell you, effectively wild is a pretty tough thing to be. So first and second with one down, and digging in to hit next, it'll be the pitcher, Luis Castillo. Has a look, now the pitch. And the pitcher will indeed try and move his runners as he gets this one down. There's one on to first, but not in time as he's in there ahead of the throw. Digging in next, Eric Mejia. From the stretch. Ready with the 0 and 1. Right side. And that is into right field, a base hit. And that'll score the run from third as they go up two to nothing now. And now time is called here as their pitching coach is going to pay a quick visit to the mound to discuss how they want to attack things here. So that'll bring in Harrison Bader. A ball of no strikes. Well, I think he's got to find a way out of this jam and limit the damage. If he's unable to do that, this game could get away from him. Popped him up. Alfaro waits on it. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. Reds will be forced to settle for just the one. Ready to go for the last there half of the inning, and Hartford. that brings up Trent Grisham. You know, these next couple innings are really important for these guys. I know they're only down by a couple, but they need to get something going on offense to keep pace, even though it's early. As he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. Oh, has him looking silly here. It's 0 2. Yeah, Matt, you cannot miss on your first rounder, and they didn't with this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. And he can't get out of the way there, so the leadoff man will be aboard to open up the inning. Oh, and that was a big mistake the right there. Baseman. This guy might be their best base stealing threat in the lineup, so now he's got a chance to move into scoring position without even putting the ball into play. Stepping in now, Nick Prado. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. 268, the average for him coming in. 
15 long balls and 38 runs batted in. Oh and one here it comes. Ball one as he lays off below the zone. Swing and a miss out in front of a changeup. To two balls and two strikes now. Hit on the ground to short. Fielded cleanly to second for one. On to first, but not in time as he beats it out. Digging in will be Shedlong Jr. And he's a guy looking to break out in a big way. Hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. Here's the first pitch. As he looks at a fastball that misses off the plate for ball one. That's a great call right there. Fastball away with a guy who's got some jets on first base. Almost like a hybrid pitch out. Great for a catcher if that guy's running. Easy transfer throw to second base. The set and the 1 0 pitch. Two balls, no Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Oh. He's really going to need to keep the walks down in this start. He's in danger of walking the second guy in two innings here. Three and one. When a pitcher puts you in a proverbial rocking chair like he's doing right now, you have to take a deep breath. You can't start trying to guess along with him. Trust your fundamentals and stay on that fastball. Swing and a liner toward the gap in left center. Dwyer will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Batting eight, the catcher, Jorge Alfaro. Runner at first with two gone in the inning. And up next will be the big catcher, Jorge Alfaro. From the stretch. First pitch fastball in there for a cold strike. He used the slide step there, Danny. Yeah, he's clearly thinking about the steal right here. Didn't happen, but the cat mouse game continues on. Prado, the runner at first with two gone. Pitch out. Nothing doing. Now a throw over to first and a dive but he's back. Whoa, Down right low there. two balls and a strike. Man 35 pitches with only two outs in the second inning. Ideally you'd like to have 30 or less after two innings so he's got some catching up to do. He's set and the 2 1 pitch. Swung on and missed, and it's even at 2 and 2. Okay, if you're in this lineup right here, game on, boys. I know he's got power stuff, but if he, he's going to come middle of the plate, you better be ready to pull the trigger. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. 3 2, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Now the payoff pitch home. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. 
Padres leave one. They trail it here two to nothing. now in San Diego home of the Padres who've certainly benefited from some solid pitching all season long. They come into this game ranked first in the league in team ERA and talking with some of the members of the staff prior to the game they mentioned how they've really been able to feed off each other. They're a competitive bunch so when one guy goes out and has a great game the starter the next day feels the motivation to live up to that performance if not best it. Maybe a big reason behind their success this year guys. All right thanks Heidi. Ball set for the start of the inning and stepping in is the veteran shortstop Corey Seager. Now the first pitch. Well that backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. It's a very effective pitch. If you can hit the outside corner of that pitch it's unhittable. The wind up and the 1 0 pitch. This is skied into the air to straightaway center. Grisham is under this one, and he puts it away for the first down. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Eugenio Suarez. He flew out in his last day being. First delivery to him, and he fouls this one off. Hey, usually the second time through the order you start seeing an incorporation of some more off speed stuff. But this guy's locating feeling really good about his fastball. Two back to back. One and one the count now. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Oh and not an easy pitch to lay off of but he did somehow and he's got it to three and one. Matt Olson is on deck. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Fouled away. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. Suarez left field and carrying well. And that is off the wall, but in foul territory. Foul ball. Hit weakly back to the mound. On to first, and there were two down. Up next for Cincinnati. So next to hit is baseman. Matt Olson. Matt Olson. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. Starts him with a good rising fastball there for strike one. Super important situation right here for the pitcher to go one, two, three. Get back in the dugout, regroup. He struggled early, but if he can knock out this one, two, three inning, I think he can right the ship. Hard hit towards center. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And this will get all the way to the wall now. And he is in the second with a two out double. Hey after that hit right there Dero that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah no doubt about it six days in a row with Knox will help you sleep better at night Dan. George Springer the next to hit and on the first pitch he grounds foul runner in scoring position with Sugan. Swing and a miss, and he's quickly in the hole 0 and 2. On 0 2 here, he doesn't have to give in with a great pitch to hit. He's got a base open, so he has to focus on making a good pitch right here. And the off balance throw gets him as he takes away a hit, and the side is retired. So they can't make anything out of the two out double. Don't touch that remote. More on MLB Network right after this. Bottom of the inning now, and that will bring up the San Diego area native pitcher, pitcher Joe Musgrove. Joe Musgrove. 
wheels and deals. Here's the first pitch. As he'll take a look at a pitch too low. It's ball one. And that changeup makes him jump, a swing and a miss. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. And he'll step on first himself for the out. And now pitch on the way. Tomas Mora comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. One and one to San Diego's leadoff batter. The one one home. That's a classic piece of pitching right there. You have to back hitters away from the plate to make them a little bit uncomfortable. Now you can go inside or outside. I like that purpose pitch. Ready to deal. Here's the 2 1. Aye. 2 and 2. A good fastball that backed them off the plate. And then some slow stuff down and away. That's one of the classic ways to mess up a hitter's timing. Up and in, down and away, textbook. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. Looking back at his last start, he racked up nine Ks. And now he's looking like he could put up similar numbers in this one. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. High and deep to right center. Back goes Springer to the track. On the warning track, he makes the catch. Padres down in order. They trail things here two to nothing. Start of the fourth upcoming, but first Heidi Watney is standing by with a report. Matt, I had a chance to talk about the state of the Reds' offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already, and he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Wire. All set for the start of the fourth, and next it'll be the outfielder, Patrick Dwyer. Here's the first pitch. Skied in the air to straightaway left. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall, and he kicks off the inning with a ground rule double. Well, that will bring a smile to a manager's face every single time. First hitter of the inning just squares it up and bounces it over the fence. Even if it stays in the yard, that's a double either way. to the plate now Davey Grion as he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one worked a walk in his first plate appearance that evens it up one and one. Getting a few steps off a second there now the pitch. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Here comes the one two. Two runs five hits and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. On he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Two run shot to straight away center eighth home run on the season for him as the Reds have now taken a four to nothing lead. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what. There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. Standing in now Luis Castillo. 
as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one. It might be time for this guy to start mixing his pitches up a little bit better. He's pitching poorly, but you look at his first pitch strike percentage at over 70 percent. This batting, this team batting has a pretty good idea what his game plan is. Behind 0-2 now. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. High in the air out to center field. Grisham is right there, and he's got it for the first out. Now Digging in, the switch base. hitter, Eric Mejia. Eric. He doubled earlier Mejia. and carries a two-for-two two line into this appearance. And now the first pitch. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Soto is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. The right fielder, number 48. So two are gone now for the Reds in their half of the fourth. And into bat next, one of the fastest players in all of baseball, Harrison Bader. Sinkers in there, no balls and a strike. I guess the game plan from the offensive standpoint today coming into this one was they were going to work the counts. They've been super patient at the plate in the early goings of this game, and they've got the lead looking for more. Nope. Fastball misses inside. It's even at one. Bases are empty here with two men out. Line drive to center field. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three. So that'll extend the inning, and with two away, bring up Corey Seager. You can relate, Dan. So what's going through the pitcher's mind right now? And they've had some good at-bats against him all game long. It, it seems like it's just been hard hit after hard hit. As we take a look at his line here, the numbers do not lie. This has not been one of his better outings, and he'd be the first to tell you that. Next at the plate will be Corey Seager, as he'll take strike one on the inside corner. Ready with the 0 1. Boy, the curveball just hasn't been there this afternoon. And this is this guy's bread and butter pitch, especially when he gets ahead of hitters. He needs to find that curveball again. Bader is off of first with two away. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. A couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. Two balls and two strikes to Corey Seager. In my opinion, one of the toughest pitches in the game to square up. Just a heavy sinker with good downward action. A dive, but he can't get a glove on it. It's through for a base hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. He looked a little bit out in front right there, but he's able to pull that ground ball through the hole for a single. Into the box now, Eugenio Suarez drives it out to deep right center field. Harper giving chase. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. But the Reds do push across a couple on this two-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 4-0 in favor of the Reds. Now to the plate, here is Juan Soto. Fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Soto. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. 4, 5, and 6 coming up this part of the lineup. Hit sharply on the ground. And the Friars are into the hit column. He's around first, heading for two. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. The right fielder, number three, right. Harper.
Next to dig in will be Bryce Harper as he'll take a look at an off speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1 0. Fouled off. No one out with a runner at second. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Hey, don't kid yourself. I know those were two bad swings, but he hits middle of the order for a reason. It only takes one swing. Into the corner and slicing foul. Ready on one and two. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Here now the 2 2. Now the fastball is right by him as he swings and misses for the first out of the inning. Oh man he's been absolutely getting overmatched at the plate the last couple of games that's his fifth strikeout in this series alone so clearly this pitching staff they figured out how to attack this guy we'll see if he can make any adjustments. In the hit will be Trent Grisham as the first pitch misses to him it's ball one. Looking at his career totals, Grisham has collected just over 150 home runs in his big league days. Ready with the 1 0 pitch. No runs, just one hit. No errors in the ballgame for the Padres. Three and oh now. That's in there, three and one. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. This is in the air out to straightaway center. Springer on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. Now to bat, Nick Prado, the reached by way of a fielder's choice his first time around. Prado. From the belt, kicks and deals as he'll send a ground ball down to third. Throw on to Olsen will take care of him at first, and that ends the inning. One left for San Diego. They're on the short end of a 4 0 score. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And next to bat will be the first baseman, Matt Olson. Here it comes. And a good sinker there gets him swinging for the first down. Well, he certainly wasn't intimidated on the mound right there. He had to stare down a really good hitter, and instead of working around the zone, he challenged him with three straight good pitches. I like that he didn't give his opponent too much credit.
at the plate George Springer as he'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty it's strike one. 0 for one with a run scored thus far. Here's the 0 1 pitch. Swings through it for strike number two. Hit down the third baseline. But this will wind up foul. Still 0 and 2. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Another one sent foul. The next 0 2. Pulled the fastball down a little too much there. That's ball one. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas. So when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. Got him swinging. Chased it well out of the zone, and there are two gone. Wow, that's the case right there where a pitcher knows this guy's up there and he's in swing mode. That pitch wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he still swung at it. At the plate now, Patrick Dwyer. Swing and a high fly ball out to left field. Soto has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Reds are down in order, but they hold a four to nothing lead. And back at Petco Park in San Diego as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I talked with San Diego's manager during the inning break about the Padres' offensive production to this point. And he really emphasized that they're not doing a very good job capitalizing on run scoring opportunities. They've had their opportunities with runners in scoring position, but still have zero hits to show for it in those situations. He said repeatedly not coming through with the big hit can wear on you as a team, but in this sport, you have to dwell on the positives. He's confident they'll find a way to break through sooner or later. All right, thanks, Heidi. The second baseman. First pitch coming, here it is. As he takes a called strike on the black, it's 0 and 1. And it's fouled away. Into the windup, here comes the 0 2 pitch. Fastball swung on and missed for the first out. Pretty textbook pitching right there. Jump ahead in the count 0 2 and then start working Up outside the, the zone. Conference. Easier said than done, but that's the way you Jorge. do it. Alvaro. Stepping in now, Jorge Alfaro. As he will take a look at a fastball in there as that strike zone expands just a little, it's 0 and 1. the pitch nope. Alfaro swings a bat and throws from the right side and stands at six foot three he's an 11 year vet at the major league level so he certainly put together a nice career in professional baseball no offer on that one two balls and a strike this one skied out toward right long run for the right fielder he tracks it down and makes the play to record the second out. Adam Hazley will pinch hit here with two outs and the base is empty. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. And he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Now the 1 0 is a fastball that misses. Hey, I hope that call doesn't throw him off his game right here. He's been pitching one heck of a game. 
and I'd hate to see the umpire get in his head right now. Here it comes, 2-0. Hey. Gutsy pitch right there. 2-0 changeup for a strike. Good call by the catcher. Great execution by the pitcher. The count now at 2-2. Two and two. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. And he struck him out, his seventh of the ball game, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for San Diego. They trail here four to nothing. Ronaldo Lopez takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and now it'll be the catcher, Davey Grillon. Here's the first pitch. Now a swing and a miss at a slider for a strike. Oh, he had him fooled there. No balls and two strikes. So back to back sliders for strikes. Does he come back with yet another? Hey, not normally a good plan to throw three consecutive sliders in a row. But this guy's slider is so good, I think he might throw it again. And he couldn't get him to chase the 0 2 fastball. It's 1 and 2. Two balls and two strikes to the Reds catcher. Here now the 2 2. Fastball strike three called on the outside corner and a pretty generous corner at that as that's the first down of the inning. Well that call looked like it was a little in the pitcher's favor but it wasn't outrageous. Hey listen calling balls and strikes is a really tough job and even the best are going to miss some from time to time especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that though. Into the box Luis Castillo as he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Swing and he pops him up. Harper coming on, and no one will get this one. The 1 1. Grounded to first. Scooped up, and he'll step on first himself for the out. Now that. So next to bat will be Eric Mejia. So far, two for three in this one. Here's the first pitch to him. Now here's a check swing. Did he go around is the question and yes he did says the man in blue strike one. And he jumps at a change up a swing and a miss. Gets dirty and gloves it. He goes to first in time. The defense on display on this beautiful diving stop at short. More from MLB Network Saturday Baseball after this. Now back to the top of the lineup stepping in Tomas Mora to start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that quite frankly has been non-existent to date. Yeah I think if I'm the hitting coach right here Maddie, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive just seems like we've been going too deep in counts and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound so I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early swing and a miss as he was way in front of that one
And he falls behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count and the pitch. I got the one and two. And that's high for a ball. It's two and two. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off speed pitch in the dirt. And he struck him out. And that's eight strikeouts thus far. So with one gone, let's take a look at the standings in the National League Central as we see where the Reds find themselves entering play today. Junior. Next up, Fernando Tatis Jr. No hits in two trips to the plate for him in the ballgame. Now here's the first offering. This one is launched. Look at this. And it's gone. So a solo shot here to left center field number 10 for him on the year as they get on the board it's four to one now. Well they're still down but this homer right there might light a fire under the whole team give them a spark to climb back into this thing. We'll see if this gets them going. Here now is Juan Soto. As he'll come up empty there as he misses the off speed pitch for strike one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Every ball club has that spark plug guy, and this is the guy right here. He usually ignites a lot of productive innings. Oh, and he's really got the strikeout pitch working now as he notches number nine in the ball game. The right fielder, number three. And Bryce Harper oh. will dig in at the plate. No hits Harper. for him to this point, not unlike many of his fellow teammates. And now the first pitch. And he fouls this one off. Two out, nobody on. Harper behind with an 0 and 2 count now. Hey, he finds himself down 0 2 with the quickness. I know he's a great two strike hitter, but this at bat, he's going to have to find a way to nickel and dime and get this thing back to even. Looking for his 10th strikeout. Here's the pitch. Turned on that one and crushed it, just pulled it a little foul. And he will strike him out. Ten now in the ball game, and the inning is over. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. The two, three, four hitters now to start the seventh. It's now a four one game. New inning set to get underway, and into bat next, one of the fastest players in all of baseball, Harrison Bader. Here's the first pitch. And that misses for ball one. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right handers starting to loosen up. The 1 0 is offered at and missed for the first strike. Ground ball right side. 
And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. So the next to bat will be Corey Seeger. He's working on a one for three thus far. Now the first pitch. And oh, looked inside, but that's ruled a strike. Nothing in one. You know, some guys just don't like pulling the trigger in a 0 0 count. They don't like the ambush tactic. They like to calibrate the speed, maybe pick up the brake. They want to know everything your ball does before they pull the trigger. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's one and one. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Fouled away. Here now the two two. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Talk about blowing it by a guy. Geez, I mean, that fastball was way behind him when the swing came through the zone. I have to think he was looking for something off speed, and he just couldn't pull the trigger on that fastball. In now, Eugenio Suarez. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0 and 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Low with a fastball here in the dirt, even. It's ball one. On 0 and 2, you'll sometimes get a guy to chase a fastball out of the zone away or up, but when it's way down like that, it's much easier to lay. Uh, we'll have to leave it there as the play is made for the third out. One, two, three, go the Reds as they hold on to a 4 to 1 lead. Last half of the seventh here, and next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Trent Grisham. First pitch on its way. As he'll come up empty that time on a sinker at strike one. You see that swing right there? You know what that tells me, boys? That this pitcher is doing his job right here, but also the offense is obviously not picking anything up today. And he pulls the string on the circle change, but it's taken for ball one. And now the Reds are going to get the bullpen moving here, and it's a lefty and a right-handed up and throwing. The 1-1. One, one. Squared that one up just a little late. The 1-2. Into center field, line drive base hit. So it's a leadoff knock to start out the inning as they'll try to claw back at that three run deficit. As we take a look at his numbers, a couple of things jump out at you. And here's the thing from a pitcher's perspective you look at this line and you think, wow, he's been sitting guys down all game long, and that's true. But on the flip side, his pitch count is up there. You have to wonder if he might be starting to get a little bit tired in this one. Yeah, and in today's game, everyone seems to want to err on the side of caution in terms of pitch counts. Sal Romano comes on now and he'll take over with nobody out in inning number seven. Nick Prado will be the first to stand in against the new pitcher as he'll do so with the runner at first and nobody out. the belt kicks and deals got to believe the pitcher is going to trust his defense right here look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play we're in the seventh now four to one our score to this point a 
A ball and a strike to the Padres first baseman. Now a throw over and he has to dive but he's back in easily. And again a throw oh, keeping there. particularly close tabs on him. Two and one. Grisham aboard here at first with nobody out. And this one's low here, so the count swells to three and one. Well, tying run on deck. He should get something really good to hit right here in a 3 1 count. I'd be sitting on a fastball middle in. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Now the payoff pitch home. Well hit the other way and it's into the gap. The runner from first crosses the plate. It's now a 4 2 game. Well, this is a lesson for all those pitchers out there. When you allow the leadoff man on base, it always comes back to haunt you. With no outs, I thought they might hold the runner at third, but they send him anyway, and the run scores. The batter will be Shedlong Jr. And he's a bit tardy there on the first pitch fastball. It's nothing in one. No hits to this point. Ready with the nothing in one pitch. That's not a bad pitch right there. That two seamer moving away from a left handed hitter didn't get the strike but I like the idea behind the pitch. A runner at second nobody out. Fouled off. The one two is a fastball down below the knees. Count remains two and two. This is swung on and missed and boy they took care of a key man there one away. Well his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him and watching this at bat it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was you can tell these things and exploit them. Standing in now Jorge Alfaro as he takes a fastball off the plate for a ball one and oh. His career numbers in this matchup. He's got a three for seven line. And now the runner's trying for third. Hits inside the throw. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. Now the 2 0. Took a good cut that time, but comes up empty. 2 and 2. One out and a runner on third. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Springer has a read on it. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. And that's going to bring in the run from third, and just like that, it's back to a one run ball game. Alberto oh, yeah. Valdez will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Oh, 
from the stretch here's the pitch as he'll take a cold strike here on a borderline pitch at strike one he'll enter play here at an even 250 three homers 13 RBIs. And now pitch on the way behind Owen two now. Line toward right center that gets down and he's got himself a base hit. Hey you know what you could slowly start to see that batter leak out over the plate that was three straight pitches on the outer half and he was able to dive out there and get an opposite field single nice job. So now to the plate Tomas Mora as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Oh, one count. Here's the pitch. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Not close with the off speed pitch taken for a ball. Two out with the man at first. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder coming on. He's got it as the tying run is left on base. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now. It's the Reds four and the Padres three. Pierce Johnson has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. So now here is Matt Olson. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Matt Olson. He's set. Here it comes. Hit sharply on the ground. And this is going to find its way into right for a base hit. And the leadoff man's on to start the eighth. The center fielder, number four, George Springer. At the plate, George Springer. As he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Oh and one delivery low and inside with the breaking ball as that causes him to back up a bit. The one one home misses for the second ball a couple of righties starting to loosen now in the bullpen. He's fallen behind now three and one. I'd be real surprised if he goes back out away there on the mound. This is a count for a fastball challenge and we'll see if he's ready for it in the box. Now Springer belts one carrying well out to left. George Springer puts two on the board with that home run. Number 11 for him on the season, and it's now 6 to 3. Every run helps late in the game. And with this one on the board, they're now up three and only need six outs to end it. They've got a little room for error, and I'm sure they'd like to add to that even more if they can. Stepping in now, Patrick Dwyer. Swing and he pops him up. In there, a base hit. He's through first and hustling for second. 
Well, he was definitely not looking off speed on that pitch. Now I'll tell you, he had to be catch. sitting on a fastball on that one because it's coming in hot, and he still manages to get out front of that and yank it for two bases. Mitch Navarro is on the pitch here in the eighth with nobody out. Davey Grion will stand in again as we flash you back here to the fourth inning. This was a two run home run that was definitely one of the big blows of the ball game to this point. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Catch made in straightaway center as the runner tags from second. And he'll get into third here on the fly out, so he's 90 feet away here with one gone. Lazaro Armenteros will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. He's set and the pitch. As he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. Navarro has some of the absolute best strikeout stuff in the game today, at least among bullpen arms. His strikeouts per nine is a number that's usually through the roof. This guy was tailor made, Matty V, to be a relief pitcher. He comes out of the bullpen, guns a blazing. Two pitches that he can strike you out with, and more importantly, he comes out with an attitude, and that attitude is nasty, and he gets a lot of swings and misses. Two and one the count. From the belt, kicks and deals. On a rope to the second baseman. Throw back to the bag, and the runner's back in time. Now that the second baseman, Eric Mejia. Next to hit is Eric Mejia. He grounded out last time up. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. No balls in one strike. Nothing in one count. Here it comes. Tried to get him to go after one below the knees, but it's one and two. That's a good but risky take there on 0 and 2. Some umpires have no problem ringing you up on a pitch that close. Grounded back up the middle. He's got it. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. One more for the Reds, and it comes on this home run. Home half of the eighth coming up. It's the Reds six and the Padres three. Jesse Biddle is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and go. that'll We're bring forth the slugging shortstop, shortstop, Fernando Tatis Jr. Well, Matt, this is one of the problems. This guy's a good Ooh, fastball, yeah. particularly low fastball hitter. It doesn't matter how hard or how low you throw it. That's right into this wheelhouse. What you want to do with this guy is move the ball from the belt up to get him to chase something that, that maybe I'll he'll pop up in the infield. No left field. And now Juan oh. Soto. He's got a hit in three go, go. at bats to this point. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Hey. Got to find a way to scratch one, one, at least out. one across. You do not want to take on the monster closing the game down three. And it's fouled away. Put that in the memory bank. First time he breaks out a curveball right there, and it's a pretty good one. 0 oh 2, here it comes. Oh, a fastball swung on and missed, and for the second time today, he's gone on strikes. 
with how hard guys throw these days, 94 miles an hour is good, but not as impressive as it used to be. Professional hitters can catch up with that, so it's all about setting the fastball up with good off-speed stuff to make it look more effective. And that's exactly what he did right there. Here's Bryce Harper now. Two away here in the eighth, and time's running out on him, Danny. Yeah, they don't have a lot of outs left to work with, so it's time for someone to make something happen if they're going to get back into this thing. He comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. That's a real nice location with that fastball up and in on the hands. Hard to do much with that because a hitter really can't extend his arms very easily. Bases are empty here with two men out. Awfully close with a the slider there, but it's one and one. And he fouls this one off. And he'll strike out here yet again, as it's been a ball game to forget thus far. Four strikeouts. Padres down in order. Can't cut into that 6 3 deficit. set to start the ninth in this one and standing in is the veteran outfielder Harrison Bader Harrison he's ready here's the first pitch Padres are going to get something going out in the bullpen now as a left hander has stood up to throw he's ready here's the 1 0 a ball and a strike. One ball, one strike. There's a two seam fastball that's fought off foul off to the right. Lucky he got a piece right there. He was definitely late on that pitch after seeing a previous off speed pitch. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. 2-2 pitch is fouled away. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base. And that's just what they did right there. Big strikeout. Keep that guy off the base path. Here's Corey Seager. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo home run for Corey Seager, the 301st of his career, as it is now 7-3. Well, you've got to love seeing a team that's never satisfied. They were up, but they've extended the lead to an even more comfortable four-run margin. Going to be tough to come back from this one. Up next to Cincinnati. To the plate now, Eugenio Suarez. As he swings and misses at a first-pitch fastball, 0-1. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Now the 0 1. Strike two swinging just out in front of the slider. Man, as a pitcher, you have to love pitching 0 2. Multiple ways up, down, in and out, throw the breaking ball. A lot of different ways to get guys out. A ball and two strikes now. The one two lifted in the air out towards left center Grisham is back and he'll get there to make the play for route number two now the first that'll bring up the Matt. power hitter Matt Olson he scored after knocking a single in his last at bat.
Now here's the first offering. As he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Soto able to track it down for the third out. But add on one more as the solo shot stretches their lead even further. Last chance coming up for the Padres. It's the Reds seven and the Padres three. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And that brings up Trent Grisham. The center fielder. Trent Grisham. First offering on its way. Ball one. Looks like the Reds are going to have some stirring in the bullpen as a lefty's begun to heat up down there. The 1 0. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Springer is there, and that's not the start to the bottom of the ninth this crowd was hoping for. Now One away. First baseman. Stepping in next, Nick Prado. He doubled his last time up. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. And there's ball one. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. One out, nobody on. And he goes the other way as this is hit high and deep out to straightaway left. A leap, but he can't rein it in. It's off the wall. Now a long throw to third. But he is in there with a triple. As we take another look, you can see the left fielder selling out here, goes up for it, but just can't bring it down. And by the time the center fielder makes it over to help out, the hitter is halfway to third with a nice triple. Into the box, Shedlong Jr. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball 1-0. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. Now a fastball for a called strike. It's 1 and 1. This is going to be an interesting at bat. I think he has to be pitching for a strike out here. So we'll see what kind of sequence he uses. Way outside, nearly to the backstop, two and one. A man at third with one away. Too high that time, and it's three and one. And he misses with one here, it's ball four. So that'll at least bring the double play into the conversation with runners at the corners and one away. The catcher. Jorge. Diego Castillo oh, comes on Bono. here looking to get the final two outs and earn the save. Ready now is Jorge Alfaro. And these guys are making a little push here. You have to like the effort despite the odds. Yeah, you really do, Matt. Look, they still have a significant hill to climb, but hey, they string a couple of hits together here, and all of a sudden, this thing feels doable. From the stretch. He'll be fine coming out of the bullpen in this one if he can keep the ball around the knees like that. Runners are at the corners with one man out. Oh. 
lifted down the line in left. And foul. You can definitely tell with that foul off right there that he's picking up spin on this pitcher's off speed stuff. Maybe expect a fastball on this next one. This is in the air to left. Dwyer has it, and I'd be surprised if they send the runner. And it'll be a sack fly and an RBI as that'll cut this to a three run deficit now. Oh, wow. Vidal Brujan will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. First pitch of the A.B. now swinging a ball hit on the ground and he's a guy looking to break out in a big way hasn't been getting the results he or his club have been hoping for. A one count here's the pitch swing and a miss and they're up against it now as they're down to their final strike of the afternoon. San Diego down to their final strike. That misses one and two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out, and that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Hey, this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching, and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. 7-4 the final finish today. The Reds jumped out to an early lead in the first and never looked back. Luis Castillo earns his eighth victory of the season as he racked up 10 strikeouts in the effort. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney down on the field, and the rest of our crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. Thanks for watching MLB Network. The final line score for our ball game this afternoon for the victorious Cincinnati Reds. Seven runs on 12 hits. No errors. They left seven men on base. For the Padres, four runs on six hits. No errors. They left five men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and.